Step right up. The show's about to start now. There's room for one and all inside this dream. This is the place where dolls exist to help you make that wish. Inside your heart, you thought could never come to be. Whoa there! Okay, I think this is the perfect spot to set up shop, Snowden. What do you think? I'll take that as a yes. Step right up and gather round the snowman. He can put that twinkle back in your eye. So get ready, set, and go. And let that big smile glow. It's Snowden's Raggedy Ann and Andy's traveling holiday show. Oh, I can't wait to see what surprises you've cooked up this year, Snowden. But I guess you're not going to tell me, are you? Okay, everybody, up and at them. I don't care if you've been asleep a whole year. There's work to be done. We've got shows to put on. Rickety, Rick, and clackety, clack. Doc and Snow, the show is back in town. Ready for Doc to open the sack and sprinkle magic fairy dust all around. Kids of all shapes and all sizes Gather from all around the world Ready for thrills and surprises This is where dreams might come to be Right before their eyes Snowden's regular and Andy's traveling holidays Capity tap, rativity tap Say the magic words inside your heart Open your eyes, get ready to laugh The answer Everyone follow the leader All eyes on the man made of snow Out on the ice and the features Watch every dog start to go Ready, set, here we go Where dreams might come to be right before their eyes. Open your eyes, get ready to laugh The answer to your dreams about to start Everyone follow the leader All eyes on the man made of snow Out on the ice and the bleachers 
Watch every dog start to glow. Ready, set, here we go. I'd say we're off to a pretty good start, huh? Only I wish that... Uh-oh. Well, there's your first surprise of the season, Snowden. I didn't think you'd bring the ballerina back again this year. I mean, after all, she is a little, uh, well, shall we say, different? Oh, well, you know what's best. Good afternoon. Your Majesty. And who in the name of Merlin are those two? I mean, come on, Snowden, you know these shows are tough enough to put on with everybody cooperating, and they don't look like the cooperative type. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Hey. Are you the person in charge around here? Well, uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm Doc. And uh, who are you two? We're Andrew and Annie, brother and sister. Annie and Andrew, sister and brother. How'd we get here? We're having an argument, and the next thing you know, we're here. The first thing we knew, not the next. It's the next. The first. The next. The first. The next. Please, follow me. What we do here is fulfill children's wishes, Professor. But we only have a week to do it, so we all have to work together. Doesn't matter how you got here. What matters is we've got shows to put on. How beautiful, Raggedy Ann and Andy. I used to have one myself, and so did my brother. But I've never seen so many of them. What are they for? Well, they help us fulfill the children's wishes. Really? How? By working with that magical mirror over there. Come on, I'll show you. OK. Hey, Doc, do you know who the star of this year's show is going to be? Still early, Acrobat. Hey, I've got this great new trick I want to show you. Watch. Needs work, Acrobat. What's this? It, it's some kind of time machine. Well, yes. Sort of. It's the control unit for the magical mirror. How did you know? Science is my brother's third favorite thing. He's a whiz at it. Really? Dare I ask what your first and second favorite things are? Pestering me and getting into trouble. Mm. OK, mm. you two, listen up. It's the magical mirror that brings the children to us. The only one at a time, I'm afraid. There must be hundreds of kids who want to have their wishes fulfilled. Well, I've been working on increasing its capacity, but unfortunately, without much luck so far. I'll take a look. Hmm. Hey, Doc, have you tried subjugating the Flamistan with the Blitz Stippler? And then rewiring the Franistock to the Stanifram, totally bypassing the anterior posterior? Yeah, that was my first thought. Oh. Well, what happened? Well, the Blitz Stippler got stuck on the Flamistan, causing the Franistock to overload the Stanifram even oh. before it reached the anterior posterior. Of course. What was I thinking? Well, at least we won't have to wait any longer to see how this thing works. Some child needs our help? Yeah, immediately. up again, Anne. Leave Montana and go to New York. Just you and me. Come on, wish one more time. So what happens now, Doc? 
What would you like to see happen, Annie? Well, I'd really like to see her get her wish. Well, I'd really like to see her get her wish. Wouldn't you like to see that, Andrew? Of course I would. I just... I'm a little more curious to see how you use the magical mirror. The dolls. You said the dolls have something to do with it. That's right, Annie. Snowden, we're all set! Yes, young lady. And not only that, but your wish is about to come true. Time to shake a little dust from that dream. Time to dance a little fancy routine. Well, come with me, my Cherie. Let's find a fantasy. Whatever you want to be First we'll make a little make-believe Throw in some magic, that's all we need Let's give it a whirl, my sweet girl Let's find a fantasy It's easy as one, two, three Forever just you and me We'll start with a daydream We danced all night you and I, that is on a jet stream. Now see how easy make-believe can be. When you're ready, then you make the call. I'll turn the moon into a big crystal ball. Just say the word and I'm sure we'll find a fantasy. It's easy as one, two, three. Forever just you and me. As easy as one, two, three Forever just you and me We'll start with a daydream We danced all night You and I, that is, on a jet stream Now see how easy make-believe it can be Hey, when you're ready, then you make the call I'll turn the moon into a big crystal ball Just say the word and I'm sure We'll find a fantasy It's easy as one, two, three Forever just you and me As easy as one, two, three Forever just you and me Forever just you and me Come on! Just you and me Forever just you and me Forever just you and me yeah. 
Let's just do it. Yes, sir. I think I've finally done it. I think I finally expanded the capabilities of the magical mirror. Trouble? Trouble? Why no, Andrew? It was supposed to explode. It was? No, it was not! I didn't think so. You don't have to get mad at me. I'm sorry, you're right. It's just that I want to help so many more children. You will, Doc. I know it. You're not letting my brother fiddle with your machine. He's gonna wreck everything for sure. But I thought he was such a whiz at science. Yes, but once he rewired the lights in our house, and every time you turn on the switch, the toilet would flush. And what would happen when you'd flush the toilet? The garage door would fly open. And when you'd close the garage? My pants would fall down, okay? <laughs> I made one minor miscalculation, but at least I didn't yell fire in a crowded theater like you did. There was a fire in the theater. There was also a movie in the theater, but you didn't yell movie. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Anna! Listen, why don't you two go out and practice or do whatever it is that you do on those skates? Just Gee, you don't have to get so sore. Why me? Why? Boy, I guess the professor really doesn't like the ballerina, huh? Got any ideas on how maybe I could patch that up? No, huh? And I don't suppose asking you for the millionth time how to improve the magical mirror will do any good either, will it? I know, I know, even magic has its limits. Hey, hey Doc. Doc! Wait till you see how we've changed our routine. Really? Absolutely. You're gonna wanna make us stars of the show this year, for sure. Take a look. <laughs> Wow, that's great, guys! Except I don't see any difference between this year's routine and last year's. What? what? Really, I don't. Sorry. Last year, we started with the left foot. And finished with the right. This year, we started with the right. And finished with the left. Oh. I see. Great! We've got another one! Boy, I wish I was playing the drums. This thing belongs on a farm. Poor kid looks bored to death. I know how he feels. You do? Sure. Try talking to my sister. Why <laughs> you? Oh, that was great, kids. Great. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Snowden! We're all set! Is this real? I must be dreaming. Hey, that's not bad. Me to play them? Okay. Whoa. Welcome! Let her rip! Oh, sorry. Here are your sticks. Set you free. Now it's time to give it back to me. Give me back the 
He's got the rhythm, the fancy moving. His hands are doing some fancy booming. He draws a crowd, he pounds them loud, working out, slapping, shaking, stick breaking. Cozy polling, rock and rolling, downbeat jazz polling, twisting, persistent. He's got it all, y'all. Take the ball, butter bing. The beat thing, you can't compete, so take a seat. Give me back the beat. Give me back the beat. You find a food that'll set you free. Now it's time to get back to me. Give me back the beat. Found a group that I set you free. Now it's time to give it back to me. You need back to me. Go, Snowden. We've made some kids pretty darn happy, wouldn't you say, Snowden? Oh, I only wish we had more time. I know, I know. Even magic has its limits. Wonder what the ballerina's doing up this time of night. Would you look at that? Wow, what a beautiful smile. Well, I'm gonna get some shut eye. This one's on. She's never farther than just out 
his best pal, her best friend. admire your skating, Professor. Maybe we can try a routine sometime? You know, Snowden, it's amazing how having a friend can bring out the best in yourself. Even if the friend isn't human. But you already knew that, didn't you? That's why you brought the ballerina back again this year. Doc! What's the problem, Annie? My brother! Yes, sir. That should do it. Oh, boy, is Doc going to be happy or what? What are you doing? Doc, I fixed it. I fixed the magical mirror. What are you talking about? Well, I dip tricked the glare cell with the hero cell and then relaminated the mirror gray with some tell me why. Really? Yeah, and then all I had to do was re loop the dupe scoop, Jimmy Jammy the rotor fanny, and. I never thought of that. It's gonna work, Doc. I know it. Don't let him do it, Doc. You know it could be dangerous. Oh. Please, Doc. No. Please. No. Yes. No. What? I know I may regret this. Andrew, give it a try. Wait. Elvis Pretzel anyway. Presley! Elvis Presley, Mom! Whatever, sweetheart. Elvis is the king! Listen, young man. Frank Sinatra is the king, and don't you ever forget it. Elvis couldn't even shine his blue suede shoes. You don't shine blue suede shoes, Dad. Please don't use that tone with your father, dear. Yeah, and, 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 and get a haircut. Understand? Oh, honey. Snowden! You know what to do. Hot rod, they can sit in a chair. I thought we told oh. oh, my goodness. Uh, follow you? Oh, really? <laughs> you know Sinatra? Honey, I think Elvis has left the building. Let's go. Planet has 
So you can call me every name that you want But don't mess up my new uh -huh. Baby, don't, don't mess up my new baby Don't mess up my new baby I got it cool just right and that's the whole heart truth So don't mess up my thin man rock and roll Don't mess up my new baby Don't mess up my new baby Should do it. It's looking good. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's check. Okay. Good. The light displacement is definitely more refracted down here. I'll bet the polar axis was sucking all the solar energy. That's what was going on up there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the ice. I fixed you now, you odd device. Want to see if that is true? Then spin three times and come on through. Huh? Spin three times and come on through. Spin three times and come on through. Okay. One, two, three. said to do spin three times and come on through oh brother one two three what on earth is that better turn it off what the heck is that what Uh, Doc, Doc, we've got a problem. Andrew, where are you, Andrew? Where are you? Here. Andrew? Where? where? I can't tell which one is you. Annie, Annie, don't panic. Annie, Just Annie, Annie, don't panic. Keep moving, and, and we'll bump into each other. Okay. Oh, it's you. It's you. Okay. What is this place? It's a hall of mirrors. What are you doing in here? What am I doing here? I came after you. It was my voice you heard in the magical mirror. Gee, that was nice of you. I, I mean, to come in after me. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, after all, you are my brother. <laughs> no one's ever gone through from here before. Crazy Andrew. Come on, Stone, there's got to be something you can do. And please don't tell me magic has its limits. What if I spin in the opposite direction? Spin in the opposite direction. It, it'll work. It, it'll work. Wait here. No, I do no, don't. Don't leave me here alone. You're right. Take my hand. Take my hand. Spin three times. It's ready. One, two, three.
Are you two all right? We're fine. Yes, we're fine. Wait, you're agreeing with him? Yes. And he's agreeing with you? Yes. Will wonders never cease? Speaking of wonders, you guys just stay here and prepare yourself for um for um for something wonderful. You, you, guys, come with me. Where's, where's he going? I don't know, but I do recognize that look. A little closer, guys, a little closer, a little closer. Good. I got the idea when we're in the Hall of Mirrors. Snowden, show them how it works. Hmm, multiple images. You might be onto something here. It's gonna be the answer to all your problems, Doc. All we gotta do now is turn it on. Well, wait, you've been wrong before, you could be wrong again. But if I'm right, we could help hundreds of kids. No, it's too big a gamble. I can't let you do it. I just can't. But I can. And you better be right. It works! It works! Like this, it's just nice to know. I'm sure glad I figured out that magical mirror. Well, I had my hand on it when the, and, and the whole... Now, why do I think you planned it this way all along? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the stars of our show. Hollywood star type I'm just a simple and everyday kind of guy Wish I could sing like a bluebird I sure turn some heads Sometimes I daydream That history will love me But I'm just a simple run of the mill Everyday girl instead We
Guess that about wraps it up. And I'd say the show is a big success this year, wouldn't you, Snowden? Want to give me a clue on how you're going to top it next year? I don't even know why I ask.
2905, please. Once you get a seat, remember where you're sitting. That was eight. The second time, eight. you need to sit in the same seat. Uh, if not, we can have another one by noon. You're going to be matching Teddy's here. Okay. <laughs> Please. Stand by in the track in three, two, one, music. It's a Broadway musical. We happen to be doing it on ice, we happen to be doing it on other. But for all intents and purposes, it is totally from scratch. Giving television, or giving the, 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 the people who watch television, an original piece of theater. Not only do we have some of the best skaters in the world, but now we're also asking them to become actors and actresses with a lot of dialogue. They're doing sketches and scenes and uh, that they're not used to doing. So that's kind of a different, it's a different departure. A lot of the story development is realized through physical moments. Characters push and shove, characters make large gestures. The dialogue is pretty simple, geared towards younger people, but still emotional about things that concern us all. decided once again to, uh, to ask Randy Goodrum to write the, the score. And he is just the most wonderful writer because when you do a show like this, first of all, there are so many different styles of music. When you're ready, then you make the call. We have one song that feels like an old 40s band song, Find a Fantasy, that Jose skates with, with all of the Follies dancing. Um, he had to write a 50s Elvis Presley kind of song. He had to write A Child and a Doll, a beautiful romantic song. His best pal, her best friend. He is so wonderfully versatile in terms of his, of his melodies. Yeah. Gary Smith and Dwight Hemian are only as good as all of the people that we bring with us. Dwight's attention to lighting and detail and camera work uh, is, is extraordinary. There's nobody quite like him in terms of his cinematic eye of, of putting these kind of pictures together, which is challenging in that for skaters, things are moving so fast. And Jeff Billings, our costume designer, has designed wonderful costumes it's kind of patchworky. This whole, the whole environment is kind of a patchworky kind of, uh, uh, of, of many different periods. My concept was that these were like muses. It sounds a little esoteric, but um, they represented all forms of sort of live entertainment. There's a little bit of vaudeville. There's a little bit of Commedia dell'arte. There's a little bit of medicine show. There's a little Shakespeare. There's a little burlesque. There's a little circus. You know, I also use kind of an odd palette. I use they're all off colors. Instead of red, I use burgundy. Instead of orange, I use sort of rust or burnt orange. Instead of green, like Kelly green, I use like a celery green or a, a yellow green. I mean, I sort of took each of the colors and sort of made them not primaries. But I wanted it to have the feeling that they had gone to old costume trunks maybe and pulled different pieces and sort of put it together. And as they travel across the world granting these wishes that they find a bow here or a hat here and they sort of trim it up and add it to the, to the mix. That person who's yelling five, six, seven, eight <laughs> is, is Jamie Isley, the choreographer. What I liked especially about Jamie in the earliest meetings we had was that her, her conversations about ideas were very, very good. We've brought in a precision team which is 12 skaters, 12 female skaters, that this is their specialty, is skating together. 
and they do this wonderful precision number with Jose. It was really a challenge to put it together because I worked with them separately and I taught them their number and then I had to introduce, I went to Canada and I worked with Jose separately and then the first time we did it was here at rehearsals and it was just a matter of okay everybody go and it kind of just came together. Katya's character has to look different. One of the things you very very seldom see are those standard ballet moves on the ice, like susus and and things on point and stuff. So we highlight her ballerina character by doing some atypical skating things. I want her to be separated by her movement, and that's what happens with Katya's character in the troupe. They they don't understand her, so I want her movement to be different enough where the audience sees why they wouldn't understand her. Kurt has got such fast feet and he's got such a musical ear, so we created a drum number with a challenge section. And you give him something like an improv and he's gonna be, he's gonna make it look like an improv but he knows what every bone and every muscle in his body's doing, which is really cool. Ladies and gentlemen! Scott can do anything, you know. He can act. Scott Hamilton can take a character and just bring it to the ice. Being Doc, he can do so much. You know, he can be funny, he can be insightful, he can be mysterious. And we put that into his number, into his, um, when he's in the opening number. He gets to do the opening number with that character as Doc. And then he also gets to be Elvis. Because I'm gonna, you know, I'm so hot, I'm gonna melt all this stuff. <laughs> Which is, I think everybody just likes to put Scott in wigs. I think it's, it's an opportunity to put Scott in an Elvis wig. Let's do it, you know? I'd say we're off to a pretty good start. I've never backflipped over or through anything before, so. And you're not looking where you're going. You can't look where you're going, because if you do, then you'll twist. So. You've got to set it and pretty much time it so that it's just ripe. And then they set it on fire and it changed everything because <laughs> I lost perspective. It was like all of a sudden I'm going towards it and I felt the warmth of the fire. And uh, I, I did that at the same time as I did when the, the hoop was just, you know, not on fire. So it was an experience and it was an adrenaline rush for sure. And, and uh, the first take was kind of timid. The second take was a, a little bit crooked and the third take was fine. Um, the fact that I had to do it three times was, I'm glad because I got over the fear of it, but I didn't want to do it a fourth time. <laughs>
it's a stretch. For them, it was a challenge and a risk. And um, I've seen some of the takes, and I think it's working. They've kept our characters simple so that we don't you know, have to stretch too much. But uh, for a skating show, this has a little bit of everything. I said, are you wearing a costume backwards? Because the buttons weren't in the front yesterday, they were in the back. They were, they were in the back. They were. I think this is the wrong <laughs> girl. You could get used to this. You, you think that it's weird in the beginning, and then, and then you just get used to it. You really do. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> One more time. Fabulous acts out there, and very seldom. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody's looking for you. It's always like he's supposed to meet me here at the practice. Scott, <laughs> it's cold. He put he's on, in my T-shirt. Where did I come out? That's pretty good, eh? No. It's raining. It's you again. <laughs> That's the shot right there. What do you think, Dwight? <laughs> I hate it when I'm wrong. Am I closer, though? <laughs>